it's Christian nationalism. Donald had the nationalism doubt, but he couldn't bring the Christian adjective into there, the element in there that is the necessary ingredient to, to, to pull off what these guys, this big coup, this long running coup. And so it's like Vance is a, and Pence turned out to have, he had a red line. He did. He didn't do the thing on January 6th. Yep. So I don't know that it was Peter Thiel's just telling me he's taking whoever will be there. I think it's for Donald. And, and yes, I want the person who will, I need a VP who won't be a Pence. We focused on that, but he still needs the Pence element. <laughs> he yeah. still needs the preacher. He does. I'm not saying Vance is charismatic or he's got that or he can he can whisper to that community in the way that Pence did. Pence had legitimate cred in that community. But he certainly is taking care of that element. He's in there with this Lance Wallace. He's doing it. He's doing that role because Donald doesn't want to bother with that. He doesn't want to go be around those people. No. Those are his people. The Jeffrey Epstein's are his people. The guy in North Carolina, even though he was a pastor or whatever, that's his people. The, the porn, the porn, you know, we're secretly on a porn site and reports. Those are his, the people he wants to hang around. The, the knuckle draggers that show up at his rallies that he degrades as soon as he walks off the stage, as, as the reporting has been. He absolutely loathes his supporters, his low information, his uneducated. But he can spend time with them at a rally where they're worshiping him. The most he can give these these Christian evangelicals is, you know, five or 10 minutes where they pray on him and he does a little ritual. And then he's like, I got to go golf. I got to go be with Laura Loomer. I got to go. I got to get to my omelet bar. 